So it may have been done, but I haven't found it yet. Maybe we should do it here at InfoWars. But I've probably watched, I don't want to exaggerate, more than 100 clips the last three days of the World Government Summit. That's what it's called. Sponsored by the Royal Family and the World Economic Forum. Headed up by Klaus Schwab in Dubai. And, I mean, I've seen at least 30 clips of them announcing world government, cashless societies, new world order, end of the family, end of single family dwellings, taking your cars away. Oh, they all pull up in $200,000 G-Wagons and stuff. I mean, it, it's just, and it, it land in $60 million jets. It, it's just totally insane. And, and they have platinum toilets, uh, it's being reported, because the attendees are so into money, they like show pictures of them. So they're, so they're, they're using the bathroom in platinum toilets, and landing in 50, 60, 70 million dollar jets, and you can't have a job. <laughs> you are gonna own nothing and have nothing and like it. So here's just a few of the clips that came out this morning of the World Government Summit. You can see it there on screen. They've got it in two foot tall letters. World Government Summit, bigger than Dallas. And the whole thing is about how they are gonna take over the world with J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, and Vanguard, and how within four years they will own 95% of everything. They already own 80%. And they're just there declaring war on you, declaring you're going to have nothing, declaring you're going to own nothing, and you'll have a new global digital currency that'll still look like American, look like UK, look like uh, Chinese, look like South African, look like pesos in Mexico, but it's a global digital one platform, and it'll still have the logo of the country you're in, but it'll be programmable tokens that tell you what you're allowed to buy and what you're allowed to do. So there's no escaping the total surveillance and abuse. So here's Schwab telling you about how you're not going to have any resources and how sad it is, but don't worry, you'll, you'll, you'll love it. And then uh, here is uh, one of the top World Bank economists. Uh, we're about to abandon traditional system of money. And there's another one of them uh, talking about their new world order at the World Government Summit. Here it is. We do not yet know the full extent and the systemic and structural changes which will happen. However, we do know that global energy systems, food systems, and supply chains will be deeply affected. What underpins a world order is always the financial system. Mm. I, I was very privileged. My father was an advisor to Nixon when they came off the gold standard in 71. And so I was brought up with a kind of inside view of how very important the financial structure is to absolutely everything else. And what we're seeing in the world today, I think, is we are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting and introduce a new one. And the new one, the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. It means having a almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, mm -hmm. which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also raises huge dangers in terms of the balance of power between states and citizens. In my opinion, we're going to need a digital constitution of human rights if we're going to have digital money. Uh, but also, this new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private, but what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. And the question is, will that new system of digital money and digital accounting accommodate the competing needs of the citizens of all these locations so that every human being has a chance to have a better life, because that's the only measure of whether a world order really serves. And the title of this session, are we ready for a new world order? Oh, but you hear them, you hear them saying, oh, but we need a bill of rights, a digital bill of rights, a global standardized system to make sure nobody abuses you. But this system went out of the gates. It's a social credit score designed by the globalists, rolled out in communist China, and now being rolled out against us with debanking and harassment and the left calling for basically anybody that doesn't submit to them to absolutely be dehumanized and destroyed. So that's why I've said we should learn about these digital currencies and we should support independent ones and have hundreds of them, not big regional ones that are all basically in one database controlled by one system. That's the enemy.